Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name's Pierce, and I talk about spirituality and personal development and make them practical. So let's jump right in. Today's topic is, it's time for action. This is your first step. I wrote down a few things about who this message is for, and then during or while I was writing who this message was for, I also kind of had a channeled moment and channeled a written message. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what I wrote down and we'll take it from there. So this message is for you if you've been in a period of isolation, you've been in a period of planning, you've been in a period of rest, you've probably felt exhausted lately. Some days you probably don't even wanna get out of bed, you just wanna lie around, maybe you have been sleeping all day. You've wanted to get started, but simply haven't had the energy to. And the more you've tried to do things, the more difficult it was and the more exhausted you became. This message is also for you if you've been eager and excited to get started on something, but haven't known exactly what to do. But you know, you can feel that a change needs to come. Maybe your outside external circumstances are just pushing you to the edge. You can't take your workplace anymore, your work environment, the people that you're around, and you just feel that something's gotta give, you can't do this anymore, you just don't know what. This message is also for you if you have been working on your vision. You do know what you want and you've been taking action and you've been consistently working on things and have been stuck recently or things haven't been moving or you really haven't known what to do. This is all gonna be the same message uh, for these groups of people. If this is one of you, then this is definitely why you're here. The next part I wrote down, uh, I just kind of had this moment where I just started writing and what came through to me uh, after my meditation and kind of sitting down is spirit wanted me to share this direct message with you. The rest period is over. It's time to begin the next step and bring your dreams to reality. Your mission is important for the collective and it's time to bring forth your gifts from a heart centered place. Although you are shifting or have shifted into 5D consciousness, you're still in a 3D physical reality. Therefore, in order to fulfill your divine life purpose and soul mission and share your gifts, you must take physical action to make manifest on the physical plane and materialize your vision into existence, into reality. You're not supposed to know all of the steps or even know exactly what the end product will be. Your job right now is to simply begin by taking the first step and answer the calling in your heart and soul. As you begin and take the first step, all of the right people, the resources, the connections, the opportunities, and the subsequent steps and actions will reveal themselves. So that's what came through when I was writing. And then the quote that came through immediately right after is by uh, an older author. Gosh, I can't remember what century, but uh, his name is Basil King. He wrote a book called The Conquest of Fear. And uh, side note, it's an old school book. I felt the need once that quote came through that I'm supposed to go and read that book. Clearly, uh, well, I would suggest that you read it too. Uh, I don't think it's hard to find. It's called The Conquest of Fear by Basil King. After I wrote that message and then this quote came through, another message came through and this is what I was supposed to sh I'm supposed to share with you. You have a gift inside of you waiting to be unlocked. Your greatest gift is also your greatest joy. Everything you've prayed for and all of your deepest desires will be fulfilled as you follow the calling in your heart. Your happiest, healthiest, most loving and fulfilled life is on the other side of you unlocking and sharing your gift. You know that you have a special gift and a special talent, a calling in your heart that's always been there. Something deep inside of your soul that you cannot seem to get away from that throughout your life, you've had many hints and breadcrumbs, you've had many confirmations, uh, synchronicities, chance experiences that kind of go, hey, you're supposed to do this. Hey, you're supposed to do this. Now, often what happens to us in our lives is through societal programming, how we were brought up and thought to uh, what we're told, what we should think and believe, we get caught up in the monotony and the minutia of the life, right? You. Uh, grow up, you get, you got to get good grades or you're a failure and you're stupid, which is what the school system basically is toxically ingraining into you that you're an idiot if you're not as good as everyone else at these uh, exact tasks, which is, in my opinion, sidebar, ridiculous because you are not the same as everyone else. So 
we can't all be good at the same things because we're different people, right? But anyways, what often happens is when we would get these nudges, these intuitive feelings, this calling, something that made us excited, it didn't align with the societal values. So we use the example of like being an artist, you always painted and wanted to draw as a kid, but of course your parents were brainwashed also to say, you can't make money as an artist, you're a broke artist, that whole archetype. And so even though you wanted to be an artist and do oil paintings or acrylics or uh, you know even do cartoons or whatever it is, something artistic in that sense, since it wasn't practical to your parents, you were shamed and pushed away from it. Even though that was the calling in your heart, you were pushed away and you weren't supported for, uh, for it. That's all to say that this is about now returning to that calling in your heart, that nudge that the universe has always been trying to slowly, gently guide you. And now sometimes even more so forcefully uh, show you what you should be doing in this life and where your greatest life and happiness lies and consequently where you will have the biggest impact on the consciousness, on humanity, that's what this is about now. It's returning to that calling in your heart. Uh, one of the spiritual teachers that I've learned so much from, he's since passed on into the next plane, to the next life, uh, the late great Dr. Wayne Dyer, he had a quote that said, don't die with your music still in you. And that essentially sums up what this video is about that it is so important for you to answer that calling in your heart, answer what it is that brings you the most excitement, the most joy uh, and fulfillments in your heart, just something that you can do. And as you do that, opportunities, people, synchronicities, resources, money, it'll come into your life. Now, it may not be immediate, and depending on how your external circumstances are, this transition is going to be easy or difficult on a sliding scale, again, depending on your individual circumstances. Now, one thing it's important to do is detach from the time frame that it will take for you to transition fully into this new life that you are creating for yourself. All, all that being said, as the channeled message that I read earlier uh, shared, you're not supposed to worry about when it's gonna happen, how it's gonna look. All that matters now is that you take the first step and that's what this video is about this is your confirmation to begin that first step so some examples of this your first step is it's skill development or passion in your heart that's what i wrote down maybe we'll use the staying on the same thread as the example the example of art you've always wanted and were naturally good at art but you haven't practiced in 25 30 years because your parents shamed you and said that's stupid you can't make any money which is pretty ridiculous because if you look at art collectors, it's pretty crazy how much people will pay for art because it's a valued creation from the source that somebody had the courage to go ahead and create and now they're you know, infinitely materially wealthy because they followed the calling in their heart. So that's the same for you. Maybe you have an idea for uh, some new fitness device you're supposed to go and you're supposed to build that because there are people out there that need that gift maybe you're an inventor in general and you have you always like making things and thinking outside the box you're supposed to start figuring out what inventions invention whatever it is that you want to offer to the world outside of your normal circumstances your day job your family your uh, your job your daily responsibilities right that's what this is about so it's about beginning to take the first step. Maybe you've always wanted to be a wildlife photographer and you've always wanted to take pictures, but again, you were shamed away and pushed away saying you can't make any money being a photographer. So you never got to follow that passion in your heart. This is your sign and confirmation again to go buy a camera, go online. I mean, YouTube, here we are, right? As Joe Dispenza says, Dr. Joe Dispenza, in the age of information, ignorance is bliss. You can learn anything at the touch of your fingertips. You're on YouTube watching this video. Simply type in YouTube, where, uh, what camera should I buy for beginning photographers? What are some be uh, beginner photography classes or information? And there will be an infinite, truly an infinite amount of information that will help you go along your path. All that matters is that you take the first step. Now also, if you've got this far in the video, first of all, thank you for your support. I'm glad you're watching the content's resonating with you. I also want to share that I made a video last night extremely 
kind of similar to what I'm talking about today and that will be released in a few days. I filmed it on my nice camera and like got all this lighting and stuff because I'm being called to step up my game uh, because this is, again, this calling in your heart, guys, you cannot get away from it. You cannot get away from it. And I have some notes on that in a second. I can't get away from this. I am supposed to speak. I am supposed to speak in front of large audiences of people about spirituality um, and share authenticity, kindness, and healing, and family trauma, and lineage, and karmic cycles, uh, and meditation, and spiritual practices, and understanding narcissism. I'm I can't get away from this stuff, guys. Like, I can't. One, I don't want to, but even when I have in the past, and I've tried to go down a different route, I, it's, I just, I truly, I can feel it. So even right now when I'm talking, I can't get away from it. It is so deep in my chest, guys. I can't get away from it. That is your calling. That's your passion. That's what you're supposed to do. You can't get away from it. It's something you've always wanted to do that you, and maybe it is, isn't something you haven't wanted always to do, but it's something that you know brings you joy because I do also enjoy doing this. So returning back to the notes, uh, so we stay on task here. Your first step is to take the first action. And part of this will probably be skill development because if it's something that you had been shunned away from in the past, well, you don't have the skills. You haven't developed it because you haven't been practicing it because of whatever reasons or beliefs were instilled onto you that weren't even yours. There's a passion in your heart. So some questions to ask yourself if you're at that place of, I know something's got to give and I've got to do something different, but I don't know what it is. Here are some questions to reflect on, to meditate on, to journal on that may give you insight as to what it is that your calling in your heart is. And you probably already know, it's something along these lines. What brings you the greatest joy that also uplifts other people? What brings you the greatest joy that also uplifts people? Just write down some things, just sit there, give yourself 15, 20 minutes at some point in your day, if you can, or even in your week, whatever, how busy you are, make time for this because this is important. Because if you don't, you will be, this is your calling. It will come back to you over and over. And the more you deny it, the more difficult your life circumstances will be because this is the universe pushing you towards what you should be doing. The first question, what brings you the greatest joy that also uplifts others? The second question to ask yourself and journal and meditate on, what did you love to do as a kid? What did you absolutely always love to do as a kid that brought you joy? That is also a key indicator. Your inner child loves to do this thing. Now, what's the other question I would say? What have you been naturally good at? You probably have been naturally good at this thing. You know, you may have taken a home ec class in a uh, freaking middle school or whatever. I think that's when I took it in like sixth grade and you like learned how to bake and, you know, or, uh, you know, your family was unhealthy eaters and stuff. And so you just ate fast food, but nobody ever cooked in your house. But when you took that home ec class, you absolutely loved to bake. That is probably your calling. That's what you should be doing. You know, you should be baking cupcakes. You know, what is it? Crumble cookies and like Susie cakes and all these amazing franchises. Again, don't worry about the money, the resources, the opportunities are out there. You've just been brainwashed to think that they're not. What is something that you've always naturally been good at? That's also going to give you a inclination or an indicator of where you should be going or what path you should start to embark upon. So what is the first step? Well, once you've identified, or even here's the thing also, even if you're not sure, it doesn't matter. If you think it might be baking, or you think it might be music, or you've wanted to do this, just start taking the first step because you'll know after starting that activity, that thing, whether this is it or not, you'll know right away. You'll either be like, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Oh my God, I always knew it. Here I am, had my first piano lesson. I'm in love with it. That's what you should do. Or you're gonna be like, eh, this isn't for me. Uh, I thought it was, but it's not. That's okay. All that matters is that you take the first step because you may take a piano lesson, decide you don't like piano, but you may have a discussion with your piano teacher that leads you to baking. And then baking is your passion, but you didn't really know it, but they helped you reveal it. See what I'm saying? This is how the universe will lead you. It's synchronicities. It's trying to guide you 
to where you should be going and what your happiest, most fulfilling, abundant life is. This is where you will have the biggest impact on humanity. This is what will bring in the most wealth and health and abundance and fulfillment into your life. This is it. This is the path. So read books, take a course, uh, take a class, interview someone who is already doing the thing that you want to do, and you will get a lot of information and also find out if that's something you want to do or not. Find a mentor. Find someone, again, who is an expert or already doing it the way you want to do it. Find and follow in the footsteps of the people that are doing what you want to do. Most importantly, follow your intuition, your inclination, that whisper, that quiet whisper of your soul that's saying, go, go here, go do that. Follow your intuition or this is an it. <laughs> okay, follow your intuition. Listen to that, okay? More than anything. So if you've been on the, this is also, the last thing I wrote down was, if you've been on the path, that you thought was the path and you're unsure now, that's okay. There's two things with that. Doubts may be kicking in and you may say, uh, nothing's happening, I've been doing it, I've been like doing all the things and nothing is growing. So reevaluate if this is the path or reflect and say, okay, or is this the challenge? Does this mean I'm super close to having a breakthrough moment because nothing is happening and I'm about to blow up and have my moment where I jump over the hill and everything breaks wide open and I just need to keep persevering, that's for you to decide. That will depend on your individual situation. This is where self-awareness and intuition are key and reflection and meditation, giving yourself time and space to sort through what is true for you in your heart and your mind. Heart, brain, coherence, they're connected. Gotta have them both working together. So if you've been on the path it's uh, and nothing's working, you may, it may be time, or if not, whatever, just reevaluate if this is the right path. Should It should be a path of joy. That'll be a key indicator. So maybe you're overcoming challenges and nothing, or, uh, and nothing is working and nothing is happening, but this is something that really brings you joy in your heart. You are dang right on the right path. Continue to go. That just means you're about to have a breakthrough and you're in that period of preparation and test right now before you have your breakthrough moment. So if it's a challenge, yes. Of course, there will be challenges. It's supposed to be challenging. However, it should not be draining. So a personal example that I thought of, I thought I would share was part of my path now is to hone my diction, my syntax, my public speaking skills, my ability to connect and deliver with an individual and an audience. And I'm also supposed to learn the marketing aspect of it, the technical aspect of it, video editing, camera work, ISO, aperture, all these things. So the thing is, I'm supposed to learn now technical skills about marketing, technical skills and knowledge about camera work, about lighting, about shadows, about setup. Now, this is something I'm supposed to learn. This is a challenge. However, here's the difference. I'm excited to learn this stuff. I'm excited to learn this stuff. Part of my business will also be, of course, accounting and bookkeeping. Keep bookkeeping. I'm not excited at all about learning that stuff. So that's something I have to learn that's a challenge, but I'm not excited about it. So that's something I will hire someone else to do. But the point I'm making is the skills you learn, you will be excited about it. You will look forward to it. You'll say, cool, this is part of the process. And you will see it as that as you leveling your game up, you stepping it up, you learning other skill sets that have to do with it. The whole point of this is that it's supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be joyful. You will be in the flow. When I speak and I'm on camera, I'm not sitting here like, oh crap, what's going on? Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. No, this comes natural to me. I love sharing what's in my heart and what comes through me with you because hopefully it's adding value to your life opening you up to a different perspective, maybe a book or a resource or something that will help you improve your life. That's what I'm here for. That's my purpose, that's my calling. Part of this, again, is technical knowledge, but even learning that technical knowledge, to what end am I learning that technical knowledge? It's so I can expand my reach and my voice to help more people. I'm looking forward to learning this stuff because it's in alignment with me fulfilling my purpose, which is helping people live better lives. And that's really all it is for me. 
Again, the other example would be accounting. Do I have to learn that? I have, of course, like I have to learn some basic bookkeeping and like making sure numbers are good uh, as things start to progress and whatnot. But I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to outsource it. So I want you to understand the, the differentiation between the two on your path. Is this something that you have to learn that's just draining your energy? Or is this a challenge that you have to overcome and you're actually looking forward to it? Notice the underlying thread of this whole video. Is it bringing you joy? Is it helping other people? Is it bringing you joy? Is it helping other people? It's those two things in that order first. Because if it's not bringing you joy, it's not gonna help anyone else. It's not gonna bring them joy. It's got well, it might, but you understand what I'm saying. Of course, exceptions to the rule. Is it bringing you joy? Is it helping other people? This is also a sign that if you've been on the path already and you've been doing your thing to step it up, to step your game up. Again, the personal example for me, I'm supposed to learn like lighting, content, marketing, thumbnails, all this stuff, and really learn how to grow a YouTube channel and learn how to refine my message and how it will help people. It's time for me to step it up. If you've been following my channel for a while, again, thank you so much again for watching and the continued support. You notice that a lot of my videos were just in the car, they're raw, they're authentic. That's cool, that's great. My message is still the same. It's still raw, it's still authentic. It's just me on camera. However, now I'm being called to polish it, to put a professional presentation along with the authentic message so that it can have a broader reach. Now, is this necessary? No. Is it, do I have to do it? No. Could I probably grow a huge audience with just me talking in the car all the time? No problem. Yes, probably. However, this is what has been coming through to me on what I'm supposed to do. So as I had mentioned before, this is why you've got to follow your intuition because whatever your soul is guiding you to do in your heart, that's what you should be doing. So the quotes that I will leave you with today, the first one I had mentioned it already by Basil King, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. Take the first step, be bold. Don't worry about planning your perfectionism. You will see that your guides have already opened up a lot of doors. There's so many opportunities waiting for you, but you've got to take the first step in order for the doors. All of a sudden you take that first step and now you're a foot in the room and you look to the right and the left and you go, oh my gosh, there's all these opportunities in here that have been waiting just on the other side of the doorway. And all I had to do is take that first step to get into the room. That's where you're at right now. The second quote I'll leave you with is from Martin Luther King Jr. Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. So that is the message and that's what I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much again for watching the video and I hope this is bringing value to your life. And please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section. And I would love to connect with you. Sending you so much peace and love. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.